iClone Certified Training. I'm your host, ICT4. This tutorial focuses on facial animation and face key creation. For this example, I'm going to show you the Jimmy Toon avatar that I already have saved with the wood texture so you can clearly see the morph of the face itself. I'm going to quickly add some facial animation to my character by going to the Animation tab, the Facial Animation selection, and then hitting the Record button to directly record the audio into iClone. I'm going to record the line, I'm a real boy. That sounds good. And now I want to create some face keys for my character and make his nose grow. This can be easily done by selecting the face key button to open the face key menu. This new feature in iClone allows you to create facial keyframes, but to see these keyframes you'll want to open the timeline. There are two sections to the face key, muscle and detail. In detail you can see that you can select the right face, the front face, and the left face. In these selection modes, you have the ability to grab individual nodes on the face and edit them. But again, to see these keyframes, we'll need to open our timeline up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. If you open the face track, you'll be able to see the Vasimi expression and facial layer tracks once again. Remember, all three of these tracks pertain to the facial animation, lip sync, expression, and shape of a character. We have our facial animation already applied, but now we want to edit the morph or the shape of the character's head. I'm going to do this by simply highlighting the node that I wish to edit and then clicking and dragging. As you can see as I click and drag, I'm pulling the character's nose out farther and farther. That looks pretty good. Maybe I'll edit the top of the nose just a little bit. Let's bring that bridge forward. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And that was super easy. As you can see, a new keyframe is placed on the facial layer track in the timeline. If I scroll between the two, you can now see the character animation and the face itself actually morphing using the facial layer and face key editing tools. What you'll want to do to create this expression is select the muscle mode in the face key menu from the top. This will allow you to quickly and easily select solo feature muscles of the face and edit them all at the same time. I'll select muscle and then I will scroll forward in time on my timeline to create a new keyframe. I'm going to select both of the character solo feature eyes and then from the bottom left hand portion of the face key menu I'm going to select the rotate tool. As you can see I rotated both of my character's eyes down at the same time by clicking and dragging. Now I want to make him look a little bit more surprised so I'm going to rotate the eyebrows up. As you can see that's going to give our avatar a more surprised look. And of course to finish it off I want to drop his jaw making him look extremely surprised at seeing his nose grow to that length. Yeah, that looks good. As you can see, another keyframe was placed on the facial layer track on the timeline, creating both a morph with our growing nose and an expression with our additional keyframe. Facial animation has never been easier to create in iClone and facial expressions have never been more fun to create inside the real-time production environment. As you can see our Jimmy Toon avatar now has a very strong facial expression and an edited face shape and we were able to do this quickly and easily using the new face key feature. For more tips and tutorials please be sure to visit www.reallusion.com